So based on all of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the Prophet Noon wal qalami wa ma yassurun. This is of course, the surah begins in a very powerful way. This is the first instance of this type of revelation upon the Prophet ﷺ, where you have these letters that certain surahs begin with, the meaning of which is not known to us. But these are part of the literary marvel and miracle of the Qur'an. Because these are the same letters by means of which the entire language, by the way, the language that these people were the masters of. The pride, the identity of these people was their language and the mastery of their language. So that same language, the letters that constructed the language, that they thought they were not just familiar with, but they had mastered, now these letters are being recited in such a way that these people have never even heard it used like this before. It's like while I'm talking to you like this, you don't even realize that what I'm talking, what I'm saying right now, is constructed of the letters. It's just second nature, right? But while I'm talking, this microphone keeps giving me trouble. All right. While I'm talking, if all of a sudden, while speaking like this generally, I said H. <laughs> now I have everybody's attention. What, what happened? Even that brother that's been texting on his cell phone. I see you. <laughs> so it gets your attention. So the Prophet ﷺ goes in public, stands amongst the people. Now this language that they have the mastery of, that their identity is built upon. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Noon. Pin drop silence, just like this right now. And they're listening. And then the Prophet ﷺ goes on reciting, وَالْقَلَمِ وَمَا يَسْتُرُونَ By the pen. And the pen we know is a symbol. It's symbolic of knowledge, of, of understanding, enlightenment. وَالْقَلَمِ وَمَا يَسْتُرُونَ And whatever they write. Meaning whatever humanity has written and will continue to write. 